Hey Apex Agents, Mobius Y here with another video for Mass Effect Andromeda's multiplayer. Today is yet another two-part character build guide. We're looking at an alternative setup for the common human adept. Um, this was my second go through with the human adept and with the female character I just did something fairly different from the previous one where the last one I kind of focused on using the singularity as kind of a, a support debuffer as well as a primer. Uh, this character is more about damage on her own as opposed to supporting the team a little bit better. Um, it's all about just dishing out damage with this particular setup. Um, and when you're leveling this character up or if you're, if you're simply leveling this up, uh, one, one of the alternative human adepts up and you want to try this setup out, I definitely recommend starting with Barrier. From there, go to Shockwave, and then from there, either do Singularity or Offensive Biotics. The choice is totally yours. Uh, so let's just go ahead and take a look at the powers breakdown. The first power is Pull. I left this at rank 1. It does its job at rank 1. I did not level it up, unlike with the previous build. Uh, there's really just no reason to. It's fine on its own with a single point. You, anything that is de-shielded, any sub-boss that is de-shielded, human-sized, humanoid, excuse me, sized enemies, you can yank them up into the air uh, just by tapping that left bumper. Singularity took this all the way to rank 6, obviously. Rank 4, extra radius. Rank 5, definitely the recharge speed to reduce that really long base recharge. It's normally 20 seconds, so the... Rank 2 and Rank 5 recharge speed reductions are really nice. They reduce it all the way down to 13 seconds, and that's without any help from boosters. Um, so definitely go with that at Rank 5. And at Rank 6, I went with Exploding Singularity. This is all about explosions. You're still doing lots of explosions like with the previous build, but you're doing it even more often. The Expanding Singularity is extremely nice for additional crowd control. Um, I just like being able to constantly end the Singularity early and set off another explosion when it happens. So that's the, my reasoning behind that choice. Uh, Shockwave, all the way to rank 6. Rank 4, extra radius, uh, which is really nice because the initial radius is only 1.5 meters, so increasing that to 3 is super handy. You do miss out on a massive damage boost, 50% extra damage, but that's only an extra 2 points of damage. I figure it's a lot nicer being uh, being much easier to hit multiple enemies with the shockwave as opposed to uh, doing 200 points more damage. Rank 5, recharge speed. The extra reach is definitely nice. Uh, but the additional recharge speed is even better. You're going to be running around a lot and playing in close quarters quite a bit with a fairly squishy character, so you want to be able to use one of your crowd control abilities as often as possible. And at rank 6, Lifting Shockwave. This makes all three of your powers a primer on mooks and de-shielded unarmored sub-bosses. Uh, lifting Shockwave just synergizes with the team that much better, as well as gives you much better crowd control capabilities because it lifts enemies in the air for several seconds. So, uh, that's my reasoning behind that. The anti-armor option is... Eh, it's not terrible, but it's not really what I would go with if I'm not also taking the rank 4 damage and force option. And besides, being able to take down armor, uh, it's a lot easier to do it when you're able to set off biotic combos as quickly as possible, as opposed to a single power doing a decent amount of damage to it. Offensive Biotics, I took this all the way to rank 6, and this is the reason why there are no extra points in pull. Rank 4, I went with extra power efficiency, plus 25% all power recharge speeds. I chose this over the additional power enhancement, which is additional 25% power damage and force, which is super nice, don't get me wrong. But the extra cooldowns are even better. This reduces your singularity quite a bit. This reduces your shockwave by a bit. Rank 5 Combo Detonation, this is kind of your main source of damage here so you want to maximize it as much as possible plus 50 percent all combo damage plus 30 percent all combo radiuses um, this is the alternative option to the exposure which is what i took in the previous human adept build as that was more of a support build for the team uh, this is all about dealing damage by yourself and dealing widespread, well not really widespread, but dealing really good area damage uh, to multiple targets in a short time span. And at rank 6, Biotic Expert increases power damage and force for 3 seconds after using a power. So say you use a pull on a hapless little bad guy, for 3 seconds you now have an additional 40% Biotic damage and force bonus uh, for both Singularity and Shockwave. So that actually makes your Shockwave hit pretty damn hard and it'll stagger most anything. 
Um, Singularity, it doesn't have a huge impact on it, but um, it could uh, very well just increase the damage from the explosion if you pop your Singularity early, um, shortly after using one of the other two powers. And then Barrier, all the way to rank 6, uh, rank 4, plus 30% max shields with un unyielding Barrier, which is really nice. Uh, increases maximum shields while at least one biotic effect is active on an enemy. This is the rank 5 biotic link, so it gives you an additional plus 40% shields. And the cooldown on it is 5 seconds. I felt this was more useful than the barrier drain, which restores your shields a little bit whenever you melee something, because you're not really punching things too very much, uh, since your powers are on such good cooldowns uh, that it's it's just kind of moot. Uh, because chances are you're going to be throwing a shockwave or using a pole or slapping a singularity down on somebody uh, that is within melee range anyways, uh, setting up for more area damage. And then at rank 6, obviously saving barrier, automatically restores shields upon reaching low health on a cooldown. Shields restored at low health, 100%, low health threshold, 20%, saving barrier cooldown, 15 seconds. So you do have to be a little bit cautious if this triggers at some point. Uh, just, you know, kind of play a little bit more passive for about 10 seconds or so, giving the saving barrier time to recuperate itself, uh, because this just makes you a lot harder to kill. Um, Unfortunately, this only triggers when you are on very low health, so this this is one huge argument for why using a siphon gun is extremely helpful on this character, because not only can you have your saving barrier uh, cool down, recuperate itself after 15 seconds, but you can also be regenerating health uh, for a short while until your saving barrier has to kick in again next time. And uh, with this particular setup, the veteran bonuses are absolutely huge on this character with the extra 40 percent power and combo detonation damage bonuses at uh, tier 10 of veteran bonus by getting up to grade 20 in the character cards it just makes these combinations of powers extremely strong especially combined with the additional combo damage and radiuses in offensive biotics uh, there's a reason this character is called ponytail <laughs> ponytail well, however you want to pronounce it um, for a weapon, I definitely recommend a pistol. Something single shot. Um, I actually like the scorpion on this particular thing. It's kind of a nice fire and forget sort of thing. Uh, because now and then you can throw out a singularity and catch two or three mooks or sub bosses in it, throw out your shockwave, uh, set off one or two explosions, kill most of the things, and then, you know, shoot a scorpion round or two in there as well to finish off anything that's left. If not, you could just run away and detonate your singularity early. It, it really adds to being able to run around and just, you know, be a fire and forget kind of, uh, kind of methodology behind everything. Uh, sometimes you'll linger a little bit too long because you gotta wait for the scorpion grenades to detonate. Uh, but all in all, the scorpion's actually pretty freaking powerful. You can see I only have it at grade seven, but it still hits pretty hard. And these small grenade explosions do add a decent amount of crowd control as they will stagger mooks uh, if they're close enough to be damaged by it. Uh, for equipment, highly re recommend an expert package. Reduce your power cooldowns by a small amount as well as increase your pistol damage. And then for consumables, the boosters. First up, definitely recommend a biotic power amp making your shockwave hit really hard when you cast it as well as making your singularity explosion a little bit stronger and pistol rail amp for the second one just making the damage you deal with your scorpion or whatever other pistol you're using uh, just a little bit more potent if you don't want to use a biotic power amp you can definitely go with a power efficiency mod making you cause more explosions more often um, I, apart from those, I don't really recommend anything else aside from maybe a cyclonic modulator uh, to help with survivability a little bit, but it's not really going to do a hell of a lot for you. So these um, between these two and a power efficiency mod, that's, those are pretty much your go-to picks for boosters on this particular character. And um, I think that'll pretty much sum it up. So this is very much like the other human adept setup except uh, you're constantly detonating Singularity early as opposed to casting it out and leaving it um, as with the previous build because uh, the reason behind that is uh, with the expose option at rank 5, or sorry, exposure at rank 5 of, of offensive biotics on the uh, initial build that I suggested, you want to you want to throw your Singularity and leave it down for uh, a fair time period. Enough for you and your teammates to make use of the debuffing effect, especially on... Uh, bigger sub-bosses and definitely boss units uh, so that you can 
deal a good amount of damage to it while the debuff effects are applied. With this build, not so much. Uh, you throw your singularity down, and then you you know you shoot a couple times, or you use a pull on somebody else. Uh, but within a couple seconds, you are casting your shockwave to set off explosions, and then shortly after that, almost immediately after that, you are detonating the singularity for some major area damage to multiple targets. Uh, if they're in the vicinity. So that's the reasoning behind that. If you would like to see gameplay with this particular setup, check the link in the, desc in the description below for part two of this character build guide where we have an alternative look at the human adept. This character is a total powerhouse and I really love playing it in a numerous variety of ways. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you found this video educational. This has been Mobius Y for Mass Effect Andromeda's multiplayer. I'll see you on the battlefield. Good luck, Apex.